just to wrap up of the work session and the council meeting for the city of Grand Rapids for August 28th. Uh, the work session was a couple of uh, nice discussion topics this afternoon. Arts and culture was in looking at some further development of the Arts and Culture Commission and how we can uh, continue to grow arts and culture in Grand Rapids with the addition of 1.5% of projects going forward in Grand Rapids of that cost uh, moving into a budget that is used then uh, to develop arts and culture. So uh, we're looking very favorably at that and we're expecting that that group will be coming back with a recommendation to us at another meeting. Also, we talked uh, with uh, Matt Wegwith, our city engineer, um, and Julie Kennedy, the head of the public utilities. And what they were looking at doing is kind of merging a couple of employees uh, for the betterment of both organizations on the GIS side of stuff so that uh, the needs out there from a collaborative standpoint are being met with three employees versus the city having one and a half and moving to two and the PUC having uh, one and a half moving to two. We can do what's required there with uh, three employees and they would be under the dual guidance of Julie Kennedy and Matt Wegworth. On the regular council meeting, just a couple of um, highlights on the consent agenda was we accepted additional money for uh, Minnesota firefighter training and education. We also adopted a resolution uh, operating transfer of special revenue funds for the Civic Center. Remember that uh, we had done dehumidification project out there to allow uh, ice to be in uh, without having it dripping from the roof and stuff that was actually then working against the roof line from a rotting standpoint. And it was also causing failure of the ice to meet the needs, you know, of the skating groups that were looking at using that. So that was successfully moved forward. We had a couple of change orders uh, that are worth mentioning. One was on the Keesler Wellness Center and uh, mounted in some improvements on the center site at about $11,000 that was approved. And then we approved two change orders as it relates to the 5th Street North and 8th Avenue Northeast improvements and then the final payment so that project uh, with a change order will be completely paid off. Mike Liebel, our fire chief, was in and talked a little bit about the process of getting a new uh, pumper truck uh, for the fire department. It takes literally almost a year to put the specifications and work with the fire department uh, truck builders out there. There are several of them out there that we would be working with, but the first thing we need to do is to have an internal group deciding just exactly what we need on that pumper truck. So they will be working on that uh, through uh, funding. The money should be there uh, from a depreciation standpoint in the budgets to cover the cost of that truck. It will probably be late 2018 or early 2019 when that truck would come in. We had a couple of public hearings this afternoon or this evening uh, that were literally non-eventful. They were, one was to rezone 5.75 acres of Minnesota power land out on Highway 2. It used to be a switchyard out there and they no longer use that switchyard and it's going to be used shoreland public use. Uh, we have snowmobile trails and stuff that are going to be cutting across that and Minnesota Power is gracious enough to have that rezoned so that that can officially be used as a trail access point for um, snowmobiling and other activities out in there. And the other one was to rezone part of uh, some land out adjoining uh, Pacagama Lake for the standpoint of rezoning to do some building. They were looking at creating eight lots over in that area that would be kind of a community uh, planned unit development that would be out there. Mike and Mitch Kellen came in requesting some downsizing of some of the lot sizes that still meets the Shoreland public use and uh, residential requirements from a, from a space standpoint with one common lot. So there were three, three lots on the lake and then five lots off the lake that would share one common lot on the lake. So that went through uh, as did the first one without any objections. And those are all good because that will create some single family, eight single family homes in that area of Grand Rapids that's 
always something that's sought out and in desperate need is to have those single family homes. Uh, with that, we look forward to getting together in two weeks and take care. I would like to remind folks that tonight at 7 o'clock, 7th Avenue from Highway 2 all the way to 17th uh, from 7 o'clock to 5 a.m. is going to be closed. We've talked about it in the past about the project that was going to do an overlay spray of a chemical that's supposed to preserve the road in its entirety. So we had fixed some of the cracks and patched some of the holes and then we will try this chemical over it. Uh, hopefully that will extend the life of that road out three, four years. Uh, before it has to go in for a uh, mill and overlay. Uh, so if it works, we're hoping that that's something that we could look at on other roads and streets in the Grand Rapids uh, communities. So look for that to be closed. Uh, use Pekagama Avenue from 7 until 5 in the morning. Take care and have a good evening.